All right, so this is what I have so far. I have my cement block, high res, low res, rebar at high res, and I got my plate steel. So I have UVs, check. Got these, check. So now what I'm going to do is just kind of join some of these together. But what I want to do is move all of this asset right here. I'm going to have some baking issues. I know it. I feel it. And the baking issues have to do with me having um, both a fake mesh in here and then these low res representations in here. Okay, let me turn on my, my uh, there we go, so I can spin. Woo. All right, to do this, I just go in here and hit L. Then I'm going to move that off into its own little district. Mesh, vertices, separate by selection. Okay. Now I have my screws and rebar. Okay, and I can hide those if I want. So now I could just have my high res detail here. I could have my fence detail in here. And then I'd have none of the other stuff getting in the way. So I'm going to show you how to overlay your normal maps, which is going to be fun. Okay. First, though, I want to see how this rebar turns out. I'd be curious to the fact that I have the high res detail. of the screws and the rebar and then I have the low res screws and rebar which I thought I just named two seconds ago ah there it is that's why you put naming conventions on things So the reason I'm I'm concerned is the fact that these things need to be a little bit thinner, I think. All right. So here goes fun. Okay, L. Make sure each part is kind of a little bit thinner. And a little bit taller. Okay. So this is going to take a second. This is me just being picky. Okay, rotate that just a little bit. Looks like that's off. This one, I'm going to have to slide it over to local or normal. Yeah, normal. Just so I could scale it right.
All right, good. So that way I could produce this normal map separate. Just in case. Okay, let's do that right now. Let's uh go over here and hit A. Image, new image. And I like to go way out there because in Photoshop I could sharpen it that way. So 4096 by 4096. And I'll call this rebar normal map. Okay, let's go over to bake. Normals, active to selective. I'm going to raise the bias up a little bit to like 0.1. That's the distance from the mesh, by the way. Oh, and then I go like this. Rebar high res, hold shift, goes to screws and rebar, go to edit mode, and then hit A. Make sure that's on the normal map. Try that again. There we go. Alright, now I just want to check out these. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to raise the bias up just a little bit. That's looking pretty neat. I like it. The screws aren't representing over here though. So I'm going to raise... Oh, I'm going to lower this too. This is the bleed from one to the other. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure I got my screws high res highlighted. Duh. There, there, there. Edit mode. A. There we go. That looks a lot better. That looks better. And that looks better. Okay, so there's my screws and rebar. I'm just going to save this out. And I'm going to delete all my other maps. I have a directory filled with junk and I want to make sure I clean it up a little bit here. Hold on. All right, now I can go over here. Damage cement. This is just my screws and rebar. All right, for the next video, I'll show you some more.